You cannot make the lives of some people better by hurting the lives of other people, and they need to look at the totality of that. She is one of the people in Greensboro's Westerwood neighborhood, upset to see the city approve plans for Urban Ministries homeless shelter on their street. Neighbors, pla neighbors now plan to file an appeal and take the matter to Superior Court. Now, if you're new to the area, the Westerwood neighborhoods just west of downtown between Benjamin Parkway and West Market Street, just north of the UNC Greensboro campus. And the debate is over a special use permit given to Mary's house when it operated as a treatment facility. And that permit was then passed over to the Greensboro Urban Ministry because the city says the house serves the same purpose. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman spoke with the CEO of the Greensboro Urban Ministry today to clear up confusion on how the property will be used. Sarah. Well, this home behind me will be a home for mothers and their children, all under the age of 12 experiencing homelessness. Now, this home will be called Urban Ministries Mary's House, and it will not be a treatment facility, but it will be for emergency shelter. Now, the city says that those plans have not been told to them, and that's why the special use permit is still allowed. However, Urban Ministry tells me they've been very clear about those plans. Really, these folks are really no different than you and I. Urban Ministry has a wait list of about 50 families for their Pathway Center and plans to serve the same population at this location on Guilford Avenue in the Westerwood community. It will be led actually by uh, a team of folks who already work in every day down at Pathways. About 8 to 10 women with their children will live in this house that's staffed 24-7. We do not have enough beds for, for the most vulnerable, and that's not just folks who um, are, are experiencing homelessness. We have a lot of folks who are one paycheck away, one crisis away from being uh, unstable in their housing. Some people in Westerwood say a shelter does not belong in the middle of a neighborhood. But I can tell you it will not be good for those of us that live houses away from it because I know what it was like in a very curated facility. Alicia Welfort said her house was broken into. She found a man sleeping on her porch and watched people walking through her yard constantly. All of that has stopped since Mary's house has been shut down. It's not just who will be in the building, but how the city allowed it to happen. We're not anti uh, urban ministries. They do good work. We just want to go through the legal process. You know, the, the zoning laws are there. Um, to provide protection in the neighborhood. You know, the way they went about this, you know, denied us equal protection of the law. A fight for the future of 520 Guilford Avenue. I'm not concerned, um, but I want to respect the process. And so in, in fairness to those neighbors and, and that community, if they choose to appeal, they have that choice. Um, but, but we're proceeding forward uh, with the work that we have and are really excited about uh, taking the next step with Mary's house. And Urban Ministry does plan to make some updates to the house, just some small things like painting, the layout, and some other small projects. They hope to have the shelter up and running by summer or fall of next year. And, of course, we'll keep you updated if any appeals get filed before then in court. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News. All right, Sarah, thank you.